I'd be remiss if I said that it was. It's not easy being a young person. And it's definitely not easy getting older. But what do we do about it? What inspired me to call it was I heard a Billie Holiday song and it was called Don't Explain. Okay? And I think we should decide. We, should, we need to decide on an action we need to take in order for us to be able to move forward. See, the world is our canvas and what it has available to us all, right? is what we need to survive, what we need to be successful. All that is readily available to us. However, <laughs> this is the big one. However, we are indecisive, right? We are the indecisive ones who lack the skill and the ability and the value, right? So we don't know how to identify something that is significant to us. We also don't know what the value is and things that we, you know, often discard or disregard. We don't understand the significances, right? Um, and the resources that are available to us. So that makes it hard for us to decide. That makes it hard for us to move forward because we don't know what it is that we have, yet we can't appreciate it. And because we can't appreciate it, guess what? We don't know what we have. Right. So that's a part of the challenge. I find. And the resources that I'm talking about. Really, the fact of the matter is they will never satisfy our greed for more. We always want more. And, and they won't be good enough for us. But. The exceptional ones. Right. The individuals that can appreciate these things, these resources, are those that are familiar with, with value and significance of the resources. When you are aware, you can act accordingly. And the same goes for when you are unaware. Okay? But what's true for sure is what you don't know can hurt you. Can be devastating. Right, sometimes worse or far more than what you do know. Okay, and when I talk about resources, I don't want to leave you guys in the dark, but I'm talking about our time, right? Our money, our skills, our talents, services, and maybe even products that, that we provide, and most importantly, you know, our energy. These are the resources that I'm referring to. We don't necessarily value them. That's why people do the things they do. That's why people spend the time they spend on the things that they do spend the time on. Our energy, how we, we, we give that away so easily to people who don't necessarily have an impact or to things that don't have an impact in our de development, our growth. Right. So this is what I'm talking about. But I think it's important right, to recognize that in your own life's patterns. Like you got to really pay attention. Like what do you do on a regular basis? What don't you do? And what does that mean? There are patterns. We are creatures of habits, right? So we do things for a while and then we might change and then we do that thing for a while. But I need you to recognize that. Your life's patterns and how do you utilize them to your advantage? If you do. Right. How often do you use it to your advantage? Right. People are bound to struggle like we are dedicated. We're devoted to struggle. Why? Because it makes a great story. Right. It's great to be able to say I came from here and now I'm here. That's a great story. That's every hero's story. Rags to riches. Right. You hear it in songs all the time, especially in the hip hop community. Right. But. Musicians use this as well because they understand almost every human being on the planet can relate to that. So people are bound to struggle and hardship 
while others are drawn to, you know, submerged in opportunities. They see, they excel, they take something and they just run with it. Right. And the, the doors of opportunity are constantly available to them, readily available to them. I think that's the difference between the two different people that I'm describing here. But it, it doesn't matter which one of these two you are or that you're familiar with. Right. You must use whatever your situation is to your benefit. And if you don't, then it's going to be to your detriment. 